Small Business Saturday is just hours away. It is the one day during the Christmas shopping season when you're urged to support small businesses. But the shopping season competition between mom and pop retail stores and major corporate owned stores extends through Christmas Eve. News from Jack's reporter Eric Albania shows us how small businesses are competing with the bigger stores. Here in the heart of downtown St. Augustine, Old City Hammock store sits in a corner off the main strip of tourists and shoppers. Jeanette Burdeen owns the store and says when customers purchase her products and then post comments or pictures about her products on Facebook, other people see those posts and it leads to more customers coming through the door. People post pictures of kites, their hammocks, their animals all in the hammocks, like they're really cool. And so that's how I get word of mouth. By Facebook mainly. They all wore the mask. 36 miles away on Jacksonville's yeah. south side is a store called the Forgotten Toy Box, a place where the young and the young at heart come to purchase new toys and used collectibles that are sometimes hard to find at major store chains. Uh, social media plays a big part. In, store uh, owner John Bowman says open. social media posts about his store typically starts when a new customer walks in off the street and starts taking pictures of his merchandise, especially the Star Wars toys. They go out and they post it up onto their either like Facebook account, Twitter account, Instagram account, and they basically share it out, you know, across social media. And here at the Bo Outfitter store in San Marco, Black Friday sales actually started on Monday. Manager Loretta Trentman says social media posts about their customer service and products is helping them compete with major clothing stores. As a small business, you know, we're typically on a small marketing budget and we rely on word of mouth, social media, um, friends sharing, tagging other friends. So we rely on it really heavily, especially this time of year. In the meantime, small retail owners and managers are also relying on holiday shoppers who traditionally shop at major store chains to keep the small mom and pop stores in mind when they set out to purchase those holiday gifts. It's important to keep us going with all the stores around here, not just mine. Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.